Hi guys, this is me Vidhi Bora and I am a final year student at Lokmanya Tilak Municipal Medical College, Mumbai and uh, today I am going to share a story of a lady who has had an epic journey which is full of determination, courage and an inspiring self-belief. So happiness is when you are having a new baby but that happiness is quadrupled when you are having a baby after 7 miscarriages. It was just a regular day for me at my college and one of the residents from the OBGY department was teaching us about pregnancy induced hypertension. So she told us to take a case which was present in the ward since a month and I asked her about the patient details and she replied that her name was Devi, she was 34 years old and after saying that she paused for a few seconds and uh, told me that she has had a bad obstetric history. And I wondered, what do you mean by a bad obstetric history? Clueless, I went to the ward and found my patient in the corner and she was the happiest patient you would see in a hospital. So I went up to her and I asked her, how was she, how was the baby doing? And she replied me with the most widest smile and uh, told me that, Madam, aapki krupa se sab kuch theek chal raha hai, sab kuch ekdam badia hai. And I wondered that what could have we done to make her so happy and if she was okay, why was she still in the hospital? So as she told me her story, I realized that her life had not been a bed of roses. It was full of obstacles and bad news. She had been married for about 15 years and 2006 was the first time that she had become pregnant. She was happy and the whole family was ecstatic that a new baby is coming home. She took extra care of herself during those initial months and at about 4th month of gestation, she went for a routine USG scan and the doctor told her that she had lost her baby. Uh, the, the baby had no heartbeat. She was dejected, she came back home and uh, again a year later, the couple decided to try again. This time to the same thing happened. The doctor told them that there is no cardiac activity present. This happened for the next four pregnancies. She told me that the hurt she felt was immeasurable. She was full of guilt because she felt that she had let her husband down and she was not worthy of being a mum. She was depressed for over two years and uh, she told me one thing that to go through the process of labor and delivery and to hold a baby you can never take home is the most traumatic thing she had experienced. After all these pregnancy losses I asked her what kept her going and she told me that she wanted to be a mum and nobody could stop her from doing that. So after going through so much, she got pregnant again and this time at about 5th month, one morning she woke up and she was in a pool of blood. She was rushed to the hospital where she again found out that she had lost her baby. After this, she had lost all hope of having a baby and she went home and decided that she would never try again. She was dejected and wanted to find out that what was wrong with her. Why was this pregnancy loss happening again and again? Since she was in a village and there weren't enough resources to diagnose her, she came to the city and she did all her scans and blood tests and uh, there they diagnosed her with a condition which is rare and serious and it's called the antiphospholipid syndrome. In this condition, your blood tends to clot more and because of that, the placenta detaches itself and she loses her baby. She took a break and after these three, four years, she had regained her strength. She had regained her confidence and since she knew what she suffered from, she decided that she would try it once again. So this time when she became pregnant for the eighth time, it was a very dramatic moment because she used to check herself, her bleeding every moment, every day. She was so scared and tensed of losing her baby that she could not relax for even a minute. 
she went to the doctor every weekend and she was started on the medications which will make her blood less clotable and this time the pregnancy had survived about 6 months she felt a little better because that resistance had passed and after 6 months she came to the hospital and even the doctor advised to get admitted so that if anything happens we can do an emergency c section and uh, try to save her baby so because of this it's a precious pregnancy and because of this she was in the hospital since the two months and she told me that madam main yahan se apna bachcha zinda leke hi jaungi and she told us with such hope belief it had inspired me i realized that we give up so easily over small minor inconveniences in our daily life this lady had gone through so much and yet still she never gave up she taught me that that our greatest glory is never in not falling but rising up again every time we fall and this was that one patient encounter that had inspired me to look at life in a different way so i think that's enough for today